to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. When David, one day, the Bible says, when kings go for war, David was meandering his balcony, correct? And he looked at somebody's wife, she was bathing. And from the altitude, he could see her nakedness and he desired her. The Bible says he sent and they fetched that woman and they came. He now got a man's wife pregnant and ordered that they go and call Uriah in the heat of war. Not minding whether the nation of Israel would die. They carried Uriah and brought Uriah. I said my king I'm here he says I just wanted you to come and have you seen your wife recently I said, ah, have you forgotten the ordinances of Israel I should be there in the heat of battle and he got angry and all he did listen was to write a letter a man's own death sentence and gave him to the battle and the painful part is that he died question what was the difference between Cain and David Cain killed Abel blood started crying meaning when David killed Uriah blood should be crying correct David went wept 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 when all of that happened you would think that after the, the child died you will now tell the wife it's okay go I will marry you again who was the mother of Solomon? He did it again. Correct? Is David that will write his sins and ask them to sing it as a song? If it had not been the Lord by my side, now may Israel say, if it had not been the Lord, he will ask the nation of Israel to chorus for his mercy shall endure ever faithful, ever sure. And they will begin to sing it. God want to destroy David. David would just find, he knew how to just tie God down. And God said, this is a man after my own heart. A man that understands, not even Moses was called a man after his heart. Mercy. This is what our families need. This is what we need. This is what many ministries need. This is what many businesses need. Let me tell you something. We are rounding up. There is a system to be a recipient of God's mercy. Number one, a broken and a contrite heart. Write it down. Arrogant people are never qualified to be the benefactors of God's mercy. For as long as you think by yourself and in your strength you are qualified and deserving, you will never have it. Great is your mercy towards me. Your loving kindness towards me. Your tender mercy I see day after day. the blood we invoke 
is mercy. For you to sit down and believe your forefathers did not do anything, you are a joker. But the mercy of God has a way of exempting you. The mercy of God has a way of exempting you from the rubbish and the nonsense that should be your lot. The mercy of God can change any negative prophecy over any man's life, regardless of what was seen about you. A particular prophet now came and met David, correct? And then started to speak to him in parables. There was a certain man who had a vineyard. And somebody, somebody came and grabbed the vineyard. And David said, who is that? Was angry. Say, you are the one who. Watch this. Do you know David was supposed to die? We have a series on mercy that we'll deal with. I don't want to go there. But do you know when you read that scripture, when David asked for mercy, God said that death had been taken from him. David would have died. David would have died. The wages of sin is not sickness the wages of sin is death but mercy but mercy but mercy there are some of you here legally you are supposed to be failures in life so based on that concoction those who knew you had the gods to even prophesy it and what they were saying is right but mercy when you introduce mercy to the equation calculation changes everything changes so a murderer like Moses could now become a deliverer by the mercy and the grace of God he said it is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed let me tell you one of the greatest ways to break causes hear me one of the greatest ways to end causes is to invoke the mercy of God the mercy of God the mercy of God over your life invoke the mercy of God over the works of your hands the moment even as human beings if somebody tells you sorry if I look at you now come and make a I look at you and I say look you know you did this and I'm supposed to deal with you and all of a sudden you kneel down and say sir I am sorry do you not know that this position paralyzes me at once I look at you and say ah, I hate you but you have done something now that ah, on a very good day what I plan to do for you I would have dealt with you I would have humiliated you I would have made sure your career were miserable but mercy and the terrible thing about all the well not terrible in righteousness about mercy is that every time mercy is invoked it not only solves the current problem it promotes you mercy will always lift mercy will always lift it will not just take away the current predicament but it will lift you and take you higher higher by the mercy and the grace of God by the mercy and by the grace of God so it says thou shall arise and have mercy upon Joshua Selman upon Koinonia for the time the time the Lord wants to lift me but there are certain levels of light and illumination I do not yet know and if I'm to wait until I know all those things, I may never rise. So he introduces his mercy. And I rise to realms that even me, I know that is beyond my level of understanding. The mercy of God. You will find yourself in the company of people you know your age and your level in life should not bring you. Their skills brought them, but the mercy of God took you there. As we travel around, I have seen the honor of God by the grace of God and it never stops humbling me when I see the things that people do on account of their perception of the grace of God upon my life sometimes I stand by the mirror and I look I say except for the mercy of God 
who dash monkey banana who really dash monkey banana you see it's not false humility it's an acknowledgement of truth the mercy of God you are there boasting about being an entrepreneur and you don't have up to 100,000 in your account you better realize that there is a dimension of the mercy of God in this equation that can arise and lift you are you hearing what I'm saying there is a dimension in ministry I believe in principles I teach principles here but let me tell you the truth there are many gaps in this equation to success that we are still learning how it works there are still gaps and one thing I've learned is that those gaps are provisions that only God can fill that's where his mercy comes in and he amplifies and multiplies little things and your life becomes a sign and a wonder because I have seen women who never train their children the children eight children all of them became great they got born again five are pastors all of them are millionaires they love God they are wonderful people walking in the ways of God but the woman and her husband don't know jack about parenting that one is not wisdom again let the wise man not glory in his wisdom let the strong man not glory in his strength the bible says but let him that glory had glory in this that he understand it and knoweth me when you know him you know he's full of compassion and mercy i will worship him forever love him forever because this god is too good I will worship him forever, love him forever, because this God is too good. See, way before I learned certain principles I knew now, I was already getting their results. When I learned the principle, I knew that truly favor and the mercy of God really qualifies the unqualified i have seen levels of breakthrough in my life that happened before i knew the principles that brought them yes this is true way before i understood principles of church growth and increase i had been seeing the hand of god and it's there is a science to growth if you don't know it it should not happen but mercy 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 tonight we are going to invoke mercy upon our lives upon our families and take away this air of pride that makes you think i have to marry because i'm beautiful i think i'm intelligent i should be a millionaire by now the pride of men is the reason why they never get qualified for mercy one of the most powerful mysteries of exemption against causes against yokes listen i've seen people at jimmy they are not even born again yet but sincerely you know they call it in house affair in jimmy you've seen that happen they take their names to the harbalists and the harbalists will reject it and they are not born again they don't love god they don't know him but their hearts are so sincere somehow they know there is a god out there and whoever it is they are grateful to him and God says protect them regardless of the fact that they are not prayerful their hearts are wicked yet God protects them I've seen drunkards on the road that would drink to stupor and enter their car and drive safely back home they never fear death and somehow you even pray and say you're a wicked man God will deal with you but you'll find out that 10 years that guy is still drowsing his way in this world and not dead they never fear anything they hear that there is crisis bomb will explode where you know they are in the night you still see him back safe and hale and hearty you didn't die and he laughs that guy doesn't take communion that guy has never attended prayer meeting 
that guy has never attended miracle service he doesn't even know what his genotype is honestly he doesn't know whether he's sick or healthy all he knows is that his heart is a sincere heart and it cries out to god destroy it not for there is a blessing in it destroy it not for there is a blessing this is what has kept some of our parents home because you know that if it's based on keeping the principles of the kingdom they would have died since it would have it would have swallowed them if the lord had not been by my side now may israel say i think of what men would have done to me when i didn't know the principles of restoration when i didn't know the principles of long life i imagine what would have happened and i wonder how many things i do not know now that i will know in the future how i walk in the midst of the valley of the shadow of death yet his mercy keeps me if all else fail invoke his mercy i give you a formula if all else fails invoke his mercy you have submitted names for prayer requests and nothing has happened lord mercy for my family they are all sinners mercy for my family mercy for this yoke of darkness that is destroying men nobody in my family is making it and on legal basis the devil has his hold upon them and if you try to talk to them the painful part is they won't listen to you because the god of this system has blinded their minds but you can invoke mercy invoke mercy invoke mercy are you blessed tonight I want you to sing for me the stanza of that song. Himela, Himela, Okaka, help me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Who knows the stanza? Himela, Himela, yes, Just that stanza, the stanza of the song. That's what I really want to hear. When I think upon your goodness And your faithfulness each day I'm convinced it's not because I am worthy Oh, hallelujah To receive the kind of love that you give
día de And you are about to use it now. Ha! And he showed me Joshua the high priest standing before the Lord and the accuser came before him attempting to rail accusations and he said is this not a reed that I have taken out of fire? And he said the Lord rebuke you. Listen! The mercy of God is a weapon. You can use it and say Satan I know you are supposed to destroy me but what about this I present to you the mercy of God I present to you the blood of the eternal covenant I present to you the advocacy of Jesus at the right hand of the father standing and speaking I present to you the sinless blood I present to you Calvary Lift your voice. Invoke mercy. Hey, Invoke mercy. Repeat every voice. Every voice. The voice of mercy. Hey, Kapada. The voice of wisdom. The voice of failure. The voice of failure. I invoke mercy. I use it as a weapon. Hallelujah. Hear me. Tonight you are going to use it as a weapon over the devourer. 
I know I've not been a tighter. You are authorized to destroy me. But see the blood. When I see the blood. When I see the blood. When I see the blood. You should be destroyed. But the blood will speak. Hear me. You live the wayward life. And all kinds of things happen. And the earth cries against you. But when I see the blood. When I see the blood. You were involved in all kinds of blood covenants and fraternities in ignorance but now that you are in christ when i see the blood lift up your voice and plead the blood hey invoke mercy come on now Hallelujah. Hear me. The Bible says, blotting out every handwriting. There are handwritings. There are records kept in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not live long. There are records in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not be blessed. There are records in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not have any child again. The devil says you wasted all your children and all of them have gone. There is a record in the realm of the spirit that says you have misused all the opportunities that you were given. But tonight, plead the blood. It can blot it out. Come on now. It can blot it out. It can blot it out. It can blot out covenant. It can blot out anointing. It can blot out ordinances. Was he praying? Hear me. A cause, causeless, shall not stand. A cause, causeless. So if the blood of Jesus takes away the legal access, the effects must leave me too. Open your mouth and declare every pattern. You have been blotted. You need my life. Patterns of barrenness. Patterns of failure. Come on now, Koinonia. Are you praying? Listen, listen, listen. 
when you activate this you will find out that no longer will there be an accusation to say oh you once in, were in the world you committed 19 abortions and blood is speaking and that's why your life is not moving it should not move but now that you have invoked mercy it makes the cause causeless that means it should not come again are we together you stole money help them please and all of that you destroyed another person's destiny but now that you are in Christ what of the blood he showed me Joshua the high priest please take seriously this is what I did for my own life oh let me tell you for we rise to our access to mysteries in the kingdom I want to pray for you but we're going to pray one more prayer point hear me the Bible says the scripture we started in give us that scripture again Lamentations 5 verse 7 please quickly we want to pray and then we'll round up Lamentations chapter 5 verse 7 our fathers have seen and are not and we have borne their iniquities but now if I appropriate the revelation that I've been called out of every tribe, out of every tongue, out of every nation, I can't go to hell because I, I was born in Kogi or I was born in Plateau State. I did ask them to do witchcraft. And now that they have done it, if the land is caused, I exempt myself. I can't be a victim of another man's wickedness. Listen, I'd like you to pray with all your heart and say, I begin a new order. A new order dissociated from the past alienated from the witchcraft and causes and yokes by the blood of the eternal when only are you praying alienated every biological deformity every genetic deformity pray every yoke that made you SS that made you AS that gave you hepatitis it must go tonight the spirit of 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 this is our year of triumph now thanks be to God who causes us always to triumph I want to pray for you listen let me tell you if God be God everything that you are carrying I don't care whether it's self-inflicted you have invoked the blood the blood provokes the compassion of the Christ his advocacy at the throne of the father does not happen automatically it happens in response to an incense sent from the earth the same way his high priest, priestly ministry the bible says is in the order of melchizedek melchizedek did not speak until he had an encounter with abraham and he gave him a tenth of all i want to pray for you now because there are lives and destinies under the yoke of witchcraft koinonia remains an uncomfortable place for them until it shall come to pass in that day that the burden shall be lifted from off your neck and the yoke from off your shoulder and it shall be destroyed because of the anointing yes I stretch my hands right now hear me I'm hearing in my spirit household wickedness and the fire of God is falling upon all who are victims of that. I stretch my hands right now. Let it be. Shabbos kupadabash. 
In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Inside, outside, I stretch my hands. Be free right now. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus, be free right now from activities of witchcraft. Hallelujah. Demonic activities. Strangers coming to you in the night to sleep with you. Men, women, animals, and all kinds of things. Coming to destroy you, plant rubbish in your body. I pray right now, in the name of Jesus, anyone who is a victim of every kind of manipulation in dreams, caused as a result of ancestry, right now in the name of Jesus, I command freedom, I command liberty, I command freedom, I command liberty. The blood speaks right now in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. He said, The earth is caused for your sake. He says, With the sweat of your brows shall you eat. But the Bible says in Galatians chapter 3 verse 29, it says, And if ye be Christ's, then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. I want to speak and set you free. There is a cause of hardship. Many people are victims of this cause. Hardship has nothing to do with poverty. Listen carefully. Many people here, you are standing representing your families as I pray. And right now in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, I stretch my hands right now. I command that yoke be taken from off your shoulder. Help them please. Be taken from off your shoulders. Be taken from off your shoulders. Right now in the name of Jesus, I command that cause of hardship be taken from off your shoulders. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me, I declare to you a dimension of ease you have never seen in your life. Step into it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every yoke of disfavor, bad luck that looms around the life of men and women here so that you never rise is like a veil on your face and anyone who sees you works against you I command that veil be taken off right now be taken off right now be taken off right now in the name of Jesus Christ and Cain said my punishment is too great he said, I have become a fugitive and a vagabond. He said, all who see me will slay me. All who see me will slay me. All who see me will slay me. Whether they are strangers, something upon me makes all who see me to slay me. Any mark. Zegeto shalakras katabadiyasha. Lebren tekes kotabras kataliya. Any mark upon your life upon your business upon your ministry that keeps attracting woes keeps attracting scandals keep attracting negativisms right now in the name of jesus that might be blotted forever be blotted forever be blotted forever Any strange sickness in your body through your blood that came from ancestry genotypes SS Jakatosia AS there's no such reality in the realm of the spirit that provision does not exist is a manipulation from the second heavens altering the genetics of men but right now in the name of Jesus every blood 
blood related issue passed to you by covenant I blot it out of your body right now I blot it out right now in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah the classic sign of courses and yokes is the presence of patterns you usually are not the first to experience that but I want to prophesy right now I don't know what patterns you have seen around your life you have seen around your finances you have seen around your work with God you are up today down tomorrow you are serious today on serious tomorrow you love the Lord today you love something else tomorrow your ministry rises today crashes tomorrow your finances is up today and is blown like the wind in the name of Jesus the Bible says every house is built by some man but God is the builder therefore I decree and declare that any pattern any spiritual construction that was built by an agency other than the Christ in the name that is above all names I command a tearing down and a rebuilding now 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 announce to the realm of the spirit whatever should have happened to your life by now for good but because of the presence of these embargoes there are dimensions you should have entered in Christ there are levels of growth levels of advancement and influence and wisdom and access that you should have been a custodian of by grace and for whatever reason certain objections have risen in the realm of the spirit to stop you in the name of jesus christ i provoke restoration right now 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 i pray over your life and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and the Bible says Elijah ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel I want to speak speed in your life I don't know what tied you down by now according to the program of God for you you should have entered certain levels you should have been the mother of four children now but you are yet to have one therefore I command speed step into it right now in the name of Jesus, I command speed, speed of accomplishment, speed of accomplishment. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. The last prayer point I want to pray for you. For there is an unction that can come on a man. There is an anointing that can produce an outcome that is not available in the earth. There is an anointing that is called the breaker anointing. The yoke destroying. There is such a provision in the kingdom to not only be set free but to be a possessor of a spiritual substance that is capable of causing everyone within the influence of your grace to come under the influence of the liberty that you possess it's an anointing there is a provision in the dealings of God with men where men can carry atmospheres that have prophetic implication to all those who come within the circumference of that atmosphere you will not have the time to pray for everybody but you can carry a climate I want to release a grace and unction upon your life that you will go back home you will go back to regions you will go back to places you will enter your room there are physical territories that are caused but like Mara the water you will pick it and in the name of Jesus you will change that situation 
like the listen 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 the bible says that the prophets were eating and they said there is death in this food and he said bring me flour and he put it and said go ahead and eat there is an ability there is an unction that can veto the plans of darkness in the name of jesus wherever you are like a mantle may that anointing come upon your life right now soto sota leke to sketerika a breaker anointing the grace and the unction carry the fire carry the grace carry the unction command deliverance make environments cost free in the name of jesus Your presence in your home your presence in your office your presence in your ministry sustain an ability to nullify ordinances nullify yokes and causes an enchantment surely they shall gather but because your gathering is not of God there is a substance you possess that will disengage everything that is of God receive it now in the name of Jesus following us from any nation of the world listen carefully he says ye must be born again ye must be born again salvation hear me please salvation is the most trusted bailout from every cause and every yoke according to scripture it provides a system where men can be translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light god's dear son a system where men can exchange death for his life and you are here standing listening to me everywhere inside and outside you have never truly made this commitment for jesus christ you may be a pastor you may be an elder and then there are others here at one time you were serious with God but for whatever reason your life went haywire and as it is right now you know that you need a restoration you need to run back to Jesus wherever you are for time's sake our time is gone please everyone stand in honor of this altar call I want you to run like there's fire on the mountain as I count one to five this is a serious business I want you to come out right now one everywhere inside and outside quickly please quickly clear the way for them two please run 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 like there's fire on the mountain run like your destiny depends on this decision three are you running those coming from outside don't sit back and allow anyone tell you no 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 it's, it's just a little issue now is the day of salvation now is the day of salvation the bible says today if you hear his voice how can not harden not your heart as they did in the provocation in the wilderness four i still believe there are still people outside rush and join us now quickly rush and join us quickly rush and join us quickly Decided to follow Jesus, no turning back, no turning back. I have decided to follow Jesus, no turning back, no. To salute all of you, young.
wrong man. Look at me. Stand up. Kai. There is a dangerous spirit that I'm seeing on this guy. Can you just lay your hand on him, Jimmy? Just on his back. I command that devil, you must go now. Ah, I looked at him and I started seeing, I saw a wild animal like a lion. Before I pray for you, look at this, look at this. This guy gently came here. Look at this. I saw a wild animal, a wild spirit. Salvation is powerful. Look at this. Now, you come and marry him. You see what I'm saying now? I'm not saying he's a bad guy. This guy may not even know why his life is haywire. Anger problems. That's why men slap and beat their wives and say sorry later and still do it. Look at how many men are holding him. Look at this. I command you now. Let him go. In the name of Jesus, I bring upon you the victory of Christ. Mm. For the light shines in darkness, and darkness comprehended it not. Be set free. Every legal access against you, the blood speaks now. Out of him and never return. This is by mercy and by grace. You go and never return. I tell you the breakthrough this guy's family will have from this night he's not it's not just him he's representing something stand up look at him look at the same person that five people could not hold come let me lead you listen when you stand to pray huh my friend my sister when you stand to pray you pray with all your heart and you pray it sincerely now all of you standing in front say after me from the dead don't be ashamed my brother you don't have to cry you're a nice person this is koinonia. All of you say after me, help the little ones. Let them be sure of what they are saying. They are laughing. They may not know what they are saying, but guide them and let them be serious because it means a lot to God. Say after me, Lord Jesus. You are not reciting a point meaning from the depth of your heart. Say, Lord Jesus. This night, I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died for me. I believe that you shed your blood for my sin. Right now, I accept your lordship over my life. I receive the gift of righteousness. And I declare that I am a child of God. I'm born again. Spirit of the living God, come upon my life. Make me a sign and a wonder. I declare that the power of sin, the flesh, and Satan is broken over my life forever. In Jesus' name, amen. I stretch my hands upon you. I declare your sins forgiven. I declare in the name of Jesus that every access the devil has over your life is gone by the blood. The Lord gives you a new beginning from today. You rise like an edifice, forward ever and backward never. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Now I want you to follow a gentleman waving his hands. Just turn and follow them. They will give you a few details. They will follow you up. And please comply with them very quickly. The Lord bless you. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him, that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ, and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing. Keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.